So I mentioned in a previous video, Wi-Fi operates at layer two and layer one. So let's talk a little bit about layer two, uh, the 802.11 data link layer. And it's divided into two sublayers, just like ethernet is. Uh, you have your logical link control sublayer, and you also have your uh, MAC sublayer. And the MAC sublayer is the bottom portion of the data link layer, and that's where all the Wi-Fi magic happens. Uh, the 802.11 standard clearly defines Wi-Fi operations at that MAC sublayer. Now, um, when a couple of terms you should know, and first is a MAC service data unit. And so the definition of a MAC service data unit effectively is the layer three through seven information and some logical link control information. And when it's sent down uh, to the MAC sub layer, you add a header and a trailer and it becomes a frame. So a simple definition of a MAC service data unit, it's an IP packet with some LLC information in, in it. And when it is sent down to the MAC service, uh, to the MAC sub layer, uh, you, as I mentioned earlier, you put on a MAC header and you put it on a trailer, and now it becomes what's called a MAC protocol data unit. That is a fancy technical term for, in this case, an 802.11 frame. So uh, uh, your MAC protocol data unit consists of that MAC header, and we're going to have videos talking very specifically about MAC header. It consists of the frame body, which is your MSDU. That's the payload that came from the higher layers. It's the IP packet, effectively, and it can be as big as 2304 bytes. And then it also has a trailer called the frame control sequence, which is a redundancy check. We're going to be talking about all these components more, but remember those two terms. A MAC service data unit is the upper layer payload, layers three through seven, that is effectively the body in an 802.11 data frame. A MAC protocol data unit is an 802.11 data frame.